Hey, sorry that it's been a minute. Uh, I don't like posting super short videos unless it's on my TikTok. Um, I think YouTube is better for a little bit longer videos. That's why it takes me so long. Also, sometimes things don't tend to happen super quick in pregnancy. So I was waiting to make a longer video about my newest update. So currently I am 31 weeks pregnant. I'll be 32 weeks on Friday, which means I will be at the eight month marker. Um, the baby is a big dancer. Girl loves to freaking move. Um, sleeping is horrendous. I, I sleep with one of those big S pregnant pillows. Um, I am normally a tummy sleeper and that obviously is something you can't do when you're pregnant. So that's been exciting. Um, yeah, sleep has probably been the hardest thing. Also, like you can't lay on your back. You can only lay usually on your right or left side and usually she doesn't like one of the sides. So I only get to pick one side and then I get sore or my hips painful. Uh, I started seeing a chiropractor more frequently. Give that airplane a minute to fly by. Um, the intended dads had to rearrange their flight because I guess their flight got canceled. So they're now coming a couple days earlier, which is even better because if I go into labor, um, I went into labor with my oldest at like 37 and a half weeks. And with my youngest, I got induced at 39 and a half. So um, if she's anything like my first, she'll come a little early. If she's anything like my last, she'll want to stay in there all freaking day. Um, I am hoping that as, cause they have to quarantine here for two weeks, which they'll be staying with us. Um, I'm hoping that the baby will not come until it's been 14 days because physically they have to be here for 14 days and or will not be able to enter the hospital. So that is something that I'm hoping for and something that I hope, um, we won't have an issue with. Uh, cleaning has become incredibly hard. Uh, bending over is, <laughs> it's funny with my last two kids, I was constantly working and bending up and down. Um, I think that when I was working that I was squatting more. Um, with this baby, I'm just bending over to pick things up and it's like, I don't know, like holding a balloon in front of your lungs and then trying to get something and picking it up. Or almost like if you ran a mile at like a decent pace and then try, I had to go pick up a couple things off the floor. That's kind of what it always feels like. I'm usually out of breath whenever I try to clean. Um, it's been really fun. God, she's kicking me right now. I have to pee all the time. If I'm not peeing at least once in a night, no, that's I'm always peeing at least once. There's not, I have not had a time since I hit about seven months pregnant that I am not at least peeing once. Um, sleeping I've become tired during the day and then I take a nap and my nap is two to three hours long and at night I stay up I don't know why um, I'm assuming because my nap is throwing off my sleep pattern so I've been trying to stay awake during the day now but that still is kind of hard because I'm still tired um, if I take shorter naps I'm just kind of crankier like I didn't get enough rest so there's that um, the intended dads and I and the agency that I work with, we had our meeting kind of just going over protocols of what we needed to get done and paperwork wise. It was mostly a meeting for them and I was just present. Um, I'm excited to have them here and to meet them. I'm also worried about having them here just because I'm kind of a mess uh, normally and having people in my home, I like to keep it clean. Um, you can hear my three-year-old in the background saying that she wants water and her iPad and she does not get her water or iPad because she needs a nap. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I like to be a good host when I have friends and family in town. Um, they're going to be here for quite a while, but they're not staying with us the whole time. Sorry, I feel like the burp hiccups. Um, they're not going to be with us the whole time. They'll be at a, their uh, house that they're renting, but I, um, I'm just, I really want to make the home nice and being pregnant is kind of like going to take a lot of effort. <laughs> um, I'm excited for them to come. I'm excited to hang out with them. I'm excited to really get to meet these people that I'm like holding their child for. But I mean, I've known them so well via the telephone because we've met Marco Polo a lot, um, which is a an app for your cell phone to kind of just communicate video wise, uh, if you don't know what that is, um, which is nice because they're in a different place. So it records it and then I can see it whenever I want. Um, our time zones are completely different. Uh, like, so I, I know who they are. It's just, it's different when you meet somebody in person 
Um, the one of the gentlemen, Mateo, has said that he really enjoys cooking. Ismael says he really enjoys Mateo's cooking. <laughs> so I'm very excited for them to come and bring some spice to our life. Uh, I am very much a um, hamburger helper, macaroni and cheese girl. <laughs> so I'm excited to try some different things that they have. Uh, I'm very open to food. Food is one of my favorite things. Oh, fun fact, if I eat and am like bending over, um, that's not a good idea right now with being as pregnant as I feel. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my belly and I think that's it. If you have any questions, if you um, have questions specifically about surrogacy or pregnancy or babies in general, please reach out. I'm more than happy to talk to you about it. But this is currently where we are at. My love handles are really coming in. Um, this baby is 31 and a half weeks, which is super exciting. Let's see if I can get a little closer to you guys. But that's what we're looking at. Pregnancy, you know, it's one of my favorite things to do because I don't know, I feel like it, I feel prettier when I'm pregnant. Not always, but I definitely feel it's one of the better times I look in my life. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or you wanna reach out to me about um, the agency I use, my intended dads, questions that you've had uh, doing surrogacy or just advice, uh, if I can even give you advice or put you in the right direction, I'll be doing that. Um, new information on my personal life, uh, I'm starting to become a real estate agent. So uh, I take my test in January. Hopefully I pass it the first time for the exam that you have to take to become one to get my license. Um, and then I will hopefully be showing homes. And I'm really excited because I really want, I don't know, I feel like when you build this relationship with somebody and then you give them a baby, it's kind of like you want to keep repeating and doing it again. <sighs> There's my daughter. I just kind of want to keep doing it again, but it obviously it's really hard on my body. So why not try and give somebody or help somebody get home? It's something else I could do. Julia, do you want to come say hi? Good morning, mommy. Good morning. You didn't nap at all. My, like your mommy is like a mess. Did you, you made a mess? Yeah. You want to show me your mess? Yeah. I will be right back. I got to go look at this mess. Come here, come here, come here. Come back yeah. here so they can see your face. Hi, say hello. Hi. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna help me. Okay. Hi, Ralph. Hi. Can you blow a kiss? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let mom finish your paper. Go say hi to dad. Okay. There's that. Um. Bye, Jay. Come here. Say bye. You come here. Say goodbye. Say see you later, Gators. Here. I can take it down here. Okay, say, say goodbye. Goodbye. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Gee, uh, I got some funny looking head. <gasps> Who's that guy? Is that daddy? I think dad's home. Oh, you're showing him your teeth? Daddy? So what? Oh. Mm -mm, no touch. <laughs> what happened? I'm making it shorter for you. Well. I don't buy you. Okay, let's go back. Come here. Okay. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye, bye.